Welcome back to the show. And this week I'm going to split the indies into two parts. This first part I'm going to split it to just the King of Trios, and the second part will be the rest of the indies, and it's no disrespect to the other indie promotions. Going to start with night one from King of Trios. Here were the results. Your opening round matches saw Las Chivas 2, 3, and 4 beat Shane Hagedorn, Rhett Titus, and Alex Payne. The Worker Ants, Fire Ants, Soldier Ant, and Work, or Fire Ant, Soldier Ant, and Worker Ant, a colony, beat Shimizu, Go, and Michael Nakazawa. The, the Order of the Neo Solar Temple, Ultramantis Black, Hydra, and Crossbones defeated Call Me Kevin, Unabuzu, and DW Cycloptopus III. Mike Quackenbush, Shane Storm, and Skyda, and he took off his mask before the match started and is now Jorge Rivera. Defeated Mecha Mummy, Ophidian, and Amasis. Cheech, Cloudy, and MCKZ defeated Brody Lee, Jimmy Olsen, and their partner, which was drawn at random, the Retail Dragon. And Marnin Stone, Terry Frazier, and Shaw Samuels defeated Drake Younger, Dustin Lee, and Scotty Vortex. Your second round matches saw the Colony fit beat Las Chivas. Blackout, Eddie Kingston, Ruckus, and Joker defeated the Order of the Neo Solar Temple. Mike Quackenbush, Shane Storm, and Jorge Rivera defeated Cheech Cloudy and MCKZ. And Inco Helios, Hallow Wicked, Delirious, and Helios defeated Martin Stone, Terry Frazier, and Shaw Samuels. Night 2 saw these opening round matches. Miyawaki, Susumu, and Kudo defeat Sean Reed, Reno Diamond, and Marcus O'Neill. Willie DeBomb, Richardson, Acid Jazz, and Marche Rocket defeated Cobra Kai, Super Extremo, and Sombra Canadianese. Fist, Icarus, Gran Akuma, and Chuck Taylor defeated Sweet and Sour Incorporated, Bobby Dempsey, Sarah Del Rey, and Tank Tolan. The Fabulous Three of Mitch Ryder, Larry Sweeney, and Shane Hawk defeated Tim Donst, Drew Gulak, and Andy Sumner. El Generico, Player Uno, and Stupefy defeated Eric Cannon, Darren Corbin, and Ryan Cruz. And finally, El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito defeated Los Ice Creams and their partner, who was chosen at random, Glacier. That's right, the one and only Glacier came to Chikara for the King of Trios weekend. Your second round match is Saul, Miyawaki, Susumu, and Kudo defeat the team of Akua and the Immortals Black and White. That's a real original name. Uh, Icarus, Grand Akuma, and Chuck Taylor defeated Willie DeBaum, Richardson, Acid Jazz, and Marche Rocket. Mitch Ryder, Larry Sweeney, and Shane Hawk in my opinion, upset may be the crowd's odds-on favor to win Demolition and the One Man Gang. Um, and of course, from what I heard, this show should be bought for the Larry Sweeney One Man Gang dance-off. And El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito defeated El Generico, Player Uno, and Stupefy. Now, to Night 3. I was at Night 3, and I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it was a packed house there had to have been over 400 fans there and you know what there was great action from start to finish i don't think there was one bad match on this show the colony defeated grant akuma icarus and chuck taylor it was a very strong opening i was very surprised that the colony got this win i felt of these four matches this was the upset of the quarterfinals of the tournament and then yet another great match. El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito defeated Mike Quackenbush, Shane Storm, and Jorge Rivera. Once again, another great match. I think this one, I think this might have been the second upset of the, the, the second biggest upset of the quarterfinal of the tournament. But not that big, though, I feel, because, you know, Pantera and Dorado team up a lot in Chikar, and, you know, they were in the semifinals last year. So maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. Eddie Kingston, Joker, and Ruckus defeated Miyawaki, Susumu, and Kudo. This was the best match of the night, bar none. This was the best match of the night. This DVD needs to be purchased for this match alone. I don't think I've ever heard as many chops and slaps as I've ever heard in my life in that one night in this one match. And Hollow Wicked, Delirious, and Helios defeated Mitch Ryder, Larry Sweeney, and Shane Hawk. After the match, Hollow Wicked, Delirious, and Helios were attacked by Ryder, Sweeney, and Hawk. And then Fist came out, and Icarus informed the Campionas de Parejas that they will use their rematch for the next time they're in Philadelphia. And then the tag team gauntlet 
it wasn't as good as last year's. I don't think that one will ever be top, but it was a very good match. Here's how the order of elimination went. The Immortals went out first by North Star Express. Then the North Star Express were eliminated by the Cartel. Then the Cartel were eliminated by Southern Saints. Now, this one was pretty neat. This part, the Cartel and Southern Saints, because they actually, two of them got to brawl in the crowd. I was like six, seven inches away from them. And, it, and you know, it was a very fun thing to watch. I, you know, I've been to a bunch of wrestling events since I've been to a, started going. And that's the first time I've ever been close to something like that. And that'll lead to another question of the week. It's a fun question of the week. It's not serious, but I'll get to that later. And then Las Chivas eliminated the Southern Saints and the Super Smash Brothers. And then Shimizu and Go eliminated Las Chivas. And then Bobby Dempsey and Sarah Del Rey eliminated Shimizu and Go. And then the Order of the Neo Solar Temple eliminated Dempsey and Del Rey. And then Demolition, Axe and Smash came out and beat the Order of the Neo Solar Temple. And you know... I got to say, this was the loudest pop of the night, one of the loudest pops I've ever heard live and in person, and I got to say, honestly, I almost cried at this when Demolition came out. I, you know, I think they're the greatest tag team of all time. I love these guys. These are my all-time favorite tag team, and to see them, you know, it was like, they still have it, people. Demolition still has it. This is great. And then the semifinals, uh, Eddie Kingston, Joker, and Ruckus defeated Hallowick and Delirious and Helios by disqualification. I'm not going to spoil that for you. You have to see it for yourself. I thought it was fantastic. It was great. You know, I can't spoil that one for you. El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito defeated The Colony. Uh, Vin Gerard won the Four Corners Elimination Match, defeating Glacier, Marlon Stone, and Reno Diamond. I think of the matches that happened Sunday night, this was the worst one. I had no interest in that one. Non-tournament action saw MCKZ defeat Michael Nakazawa. And all i got to say is, if you remember American Balloon, get ready to be disgusted by Michael Nakazawa. And then an eight-man tag match, which actually had a pretty funny ending. Tim Don's creator wrestler Chiva 2 and Eric Cannon defeated Ophidian, Amesis, El Hijo de Ice Cream and Ice Cream Jr. And the finals, Eddie Kingston, Joker, and Ruckus, my picks, lost to El Pantera, Lince Dorado, and Incognito. It was a fantastic finals. I think it was better than last year's, but I got to say, the wrong team won at the end, in my opinion. Going to take a break. The rest of the indies are on the way. <laughs> 